and then we'll begin. Okay, so welcome to Exception Peels here. I'm just gonna shut my door and then we're gonna get going. So a little bit about Exception Peels. If you guys have been to our other webinars, um, I really wanna get into the business of here because really that's what it all comes down to. So we went over to uh, Spain and we trained with the same chemist that made fusion mesotherapy. And he came up with this line called Exception Peels. They're called polyhydroxy acids. Everybody's heard of the peels that are called alpha hydroxies and beta hydroxies. Well, these are polyhydroxies. So basically what they've done is they've gone ahead and taken lactic acid and they've taken glycolic acid and they've manipulated it so that it's a larger molecule. They put more hydroxy groups on, not to get too fancy here, but it's the same exact formula, just a little bit bigger. But what that means is now it's going to go in slower into the skin and it's not going to burn anymore. So that's the key here with the acids. And a quick overview too is no more putting on acids now that are going to go ahead and scorch the skin. They're going to cause scabbing, and that are gonna go ahead and cause burning um, and the uh, injury to the skin where there's a lot of downtime, what we're gonna do now is progressive peels. We're just gonna remove layer of the stratum corneum bit by bit by bit, week after week after week, and eventually we're gonna end up with the same results without all the injury to the skin, without all the downtime. So that's what the new lines are all about with the polyhydroxy acids. Just a little bit about the company. Again, the um, Ox Energy Paris, which is an umbrella for the Ox Energy skincare line, the Fusion Miso, and the Exception Peel line was created back in 2002. The most recent product, the Exception Peels, back in 2017. And I just want to show you a little bit about the way you should be thinking with your clients here, how to take them from walking into your front door to have them walking out your front door a few weeks or months later, staying on as lifetime patients, referring others. So the planning phase where we're gonna establish a treatment plan, the activation, which is gonna be some of the products I'll show you that are gonna prepare them for peels. Further down, again, obviously, we're gonna to start to do the consecutive peels. Then we're gonna to start to allow the skin to heal with some home products that we'll use. Of course, we'd love to use our mesotherapy to handle any um, skin care concerns other than exfoliation. And then we can then go into, if you guys have doctors in your offices that do fillers, we can go ahead and handle the loss of volume for the patients. And then maintenance care, which is eventually where we want everybody to end up so that they stay with us. All right. so. We're gonna go over the peel line here, a little bit of background. We're gonna go into a little bit of what peels are all about. So the word peel literally means to remove the outer layer or to refine that outer layer. And when we talk about outer layer, we're talking about the outer layer of the epidermis. Specifically, we're talking about the stratum corneum. So what we're doing is removing layers of the stratum corneum Week after week, each peel is a little bit different. So it could be two weeks, three weeks, some of the weaker peels, up to seven weeks we can go. With chemical peels, there's no mechanical exfoliation, meaning there's no scrubbing involved. There's nothing like a dermabrasion or anything like that. We're actually gonna go ahead and put the peel onto the skin. The acid is gonna break up the, uh, the glue that binds layers together and we can remove it that way. It's actually very accurate compared to doing other forms of exfoliation. Um, if it was dermaplaning or microdermabrasion, I can now control my depth with my pH, and I can also control the damage or the, um, uh, the productivity of the peel once it gets there 
by my, con uh, my concentration. So with peels, you're gonna see pHs and you're gonna see concentration. pH is depth, concentration means once it gets there, how effective is it? The big thing too that I teach in all my trainings as well too is when you're doing peels, that it's very anti-aging, very rejuvenative, meaning we're removing that dead outer layer, the stratum corneum or portions of it. And what that does is it causes mitosis or cell division down at the basilar layer, which is the lowest part of the epidermis. So if I can now remove the dead cells on the top, have my body start to regenerate brand new from below, have it push up from the bottom, I'm anti-aging. I'm doing rejuvenation here for clients. Most of organic acids, they say they're not keratolytic, lytic meaning to go ahead and separate or break off, um, and the keratol meaning the keratocytes. We're going to look at acids now that have real ingredients in them too. You're familiar with lactic acid, very hydrating, right? Ferulic acid, strong antioxidant. Uh, glycolic is a bacteria side as well too. So not only are these uh, certain acids gonna go ahead and remove or exfoliate, but they also have um, secondary functions that they perform. And we're gonna get into uh, a few of those as well too. So down here at the bottom, it'll say peelings that are not producing strong exfoliation or crust. When I crust, when I scab, when I damage, I've removed portions of the skin that was not ready to be removed. I might as well have go, gone ahead and took sandpaper and scraped it off because now I'm scabbing. That's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for the same end results without the damage. And I can do that by instead of trying to do it all in one shot, I can do that over a few weeks. So that's what progressive peels are all about. Mitotic division or activity at the basilar level, which is those cells at the bottom of the epidermis. When you start to remove uh, the outer layer of the stratum corneum, the body is going to respond. So it's very important that exfoliation happens and your patient should understand that. Remember, the body doesn't care about aesthetics or what you look like. So it's gonna build up the epidermis as thick as it can, but it's also gonna shut down mitotic division or cell division down at the bottom we need to go ahead and kind of override that, strip off that outer layer, have the body start to kick into rejuvenation mode, reproduce more cells from the bottom and work their way up. Um, another uh, interesting thing that we'll get out of the peel line because it's carboxy based, the neutralizer, I can also get a lot of skin oxygenation done too. So when we spray on a neutralizer, it creates a carbon dioxide on the surface, a carboxy therapy, if you will. Well, we know from human anatomy that uh, red blood cells have hemoglobin that carry oxygen and carbon dioxide. We know that if the hemoglobin had a choice, it would choose carbon dioxide over oxygen. So uh, in the industry, we'll see things like carboxy therapy, where we can place carbon dioxide into specific areas cellulite, scar tissue, dark circles under the eyes, knowing that the body's gonna respond, it's gonna send all the red blood cells into the area, it's gonna drop all of its oxygen so it can pick up carbon dioxide. So when I do a peel and I neutralize with carbon dioxide, I'm gonna get what's known as hyperemia, this big blast of red, a little bit of heat, but all of a sudden it's gonna be replacing the carbon dioxide with oxygen. So I'm gonna be able to oxygenate the skin too with this peel line, which is a really, really nice effect that we'll get. A Little bit of anatomy as well too. We have a thing on our face or really our body called our acid mantle. Basically skin has a pH and the word pH means potential hydrogen. And it sits at about 4.5 to 5.5. Typically I'll start to see it at five or 5.5. What happens is, or the reason why you have an acidic skin level is an added layer of protection. Bacteria can't live in an acid environment. Um, it's made up of uh, fatty acids and uh, oils, and it's also made from lactic acid. So we want that there. We want skinning sitting at that level. Picture now if I've got a higher pH, right? I'm actually going to have less exfoliation. If I have a lower pH, I'm gonna have increased 
exfoliation. So having um, proper pH levels of the skin are super important. What's interesting is most bar soap that you're washing your face with is probably based at about 8.5. It's very, very basic. And that's really not the best thing for skin, believe it or not. Try to get one that's a little bit more pH balanced. So some of the things we can do with our peels are reasons to do. Reduction in pigmentation, removing blemishes. We can actually lighten the skin. Scars and stretch marks, a uh, little bit deceptive. Peels can actually be different strengths. The ones we're gonna use with our peel line are superficial to very superficial. When we start hearing about scars and stretch marks, those are gonna be deeper peels, basically done more on the medical end in a medical environment, but I just wanted to mention them to you. We also have peels that are great for acne, rosacea, seborrhea. Um, a lot of times, um, most peels are gonna also tout that they're good with acne because one of the components of acne is actually gonna be clogging cells. So all peels are gonna be good for acne. They'll actually clean that out for you. Rosacea, kind of an inflammatory response. So I'm not looking to rip the skin off. If I can slowly exfoliate very, very lightly, I can work on clients that have rosacea. I can use polyhydroxy acids, right? Seborrhea, right? A little bit more of an infectious type or bacteria type. I can also handle that as well too with the sebaceous gland. So I've got different formulas like a pure peel that's antibacterial, antimicrobial, um, that works very, very well. Dry skin, right? I can uh, use hydrating peels. I can use lactic or lactobionic. Some of our peels actually have hyaluronic acid in there too. So I can deal with dry skin in that fashion. Rejuvenation. Like I said, anytime I start to remove cells from that stratum corneum, rejuvenation is going to start to come into play. But I also have peels that are called Ageless and Ageless Plus that have peptides in there that'll go ahead and help increase production of rejuvenation, collagen production, things of that nature. More collagen, more firmness, right? We'll start to see those attributes start to uh, arise. And of course, overall peels, we're gonna get a smoother texture as well and an even complexion. Just gonna to touch very quickly on the different types of peels, the depths, very superficial to superficial. Those are our polyhydroxy acids that we're gonna be using. Also, they'll mention a little bit of the alpha hydroxies too. These are superficial peels, okay? A nice, safe, easy way to do peels that aren't scary. Gonna take a little bit longer, but it's gonna get us the same results without damaging the skin. Medium peels, we're gonna to start to see a little bit more of the redness in the face, maybe small or large flakes or uh, what's known as desquamatization or scabbing. Um, and there's also risk of necrosis and hyperpigmentation that we start to see from these stronger peels. There's also a little bit of downtime too. Then we have the deeper chemical peels performed in a doctor's office, hospital, surgery room, things like that. These are heavy, heavy peels that should be done by, I don't even wanna say professionals, a choice, a small group of professionals that are very, very well trained with this. That's who'll do this. And you can still see damage on the face for a few months. So it's a very, very slow healing process, but obviously very effective. They can last up to several years. So a lot of what we look at is skin conditioning. We're gonna talk about using what's known as PHA activators, and we're gonna, we're gonna see that in a second. What I can do is prepare the skin two weeks prior to my first peel. Um, with the activator, I'll retail that to the client. They'll every night gonna put about a dime size of this liquid in their hand. It has a little bit of lactic in there and they're gonna put it on the face. It's gonna condition the skin, get the pH correct, almost warming the skin up for the peel that's gonna be coming. It also has a little bit of resorcinol in there, and resorcinol is actually gonna inhibit the production of an amino acid called tyrosine, which actually gives pigmentation its brown color. So what I'm really doing is putting melanocytes to sleep, which is key when we're doing peels because some people that have been doing peels, they'll hear about a thing called post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. That's the body's response to injury, and the injury could be from a peel. So um, that's something to be cautious with. 
you can actually, with the um, higher Fitzpatrick's, the fives and sixes, we have to be careful with hypopigmentation. So again, the polyhydroxy acids are an excellent, excellent choice for you. We have, for instance, the white up, which is for all six Fitzpatrick's, and then we have a white up plus, which is stronger, but it's for one through four Fitzpatrick's. So I've got the ability to treat all skin types, control pigmentation issues, keep the patient safe, keep you safe, prepare the skin. It's a really cool system, and we're going to obviously see this as we go on today here. A little bit about peels, molecular weight of the acids, right? The larger the molecule, the slower it goes in. Polarity, different peels are going to have a strong affinity to oil or aqueous solutions. They're able to go ahead and penetrate deeper down into oil. Concentrations versus pH. Concentration of the formula, basically how strong it'll be once it gets there. Somebody just asked uh, questions, we'll wait to the end. Can you do these? These are year long peels here. That's what's nice, they're very gentle. We're gonna accompany the um, polyhydroxy acids or the PHA activators with an all day shield. So I can do this any time of the year because it's just a nice, slow, easy pro uh, process. We know that we're kind of in peel season now, but these are uh, year long peels and the marketing that you'll see for this touts that it's for uh, year long peels. Back to this contact time. Again, if we leave it on longer, gonna penetrate deeper. If we go ahead and exfoliate and degrease, I can get down a little bit better as well too. So these are some of the things we'll look at. Um, we also have a thing called a, a toner that we would cleanse, degrease, and then put a toner on there. And this last thing here, they'll talk about swelling up the coronocytes. So they'll swell up so they can be removed without alcohol. So it's a nice combination. I know it seems complicated now, but I'm going to show you the protocol book and it's so easy. It's going to tell you exactly what to retail, pre-products, post-products, how to do the peel, how many passes, how many minutes, how many weeks you're gonna see them. Again, it's not strong that you're gonna do it all in one shot. You're gonna do it week after week for all you uh, professionals out there that are unsure of yourself. Of course, take a class with us or others, but it's very, very easy to use these peels. I'm gonna show you how in a few minutes as well. So. Okay. So again, the pH gradient that we touched on, 4.5, 5.5, that's going to get us to a, a normal acid mantle. As we go lower down to that um, base of the layer, the pH starts to increase. What's interesting is once you enter into the body, if something's able to live in an acidic environment, your body has a secondary uh, system of protection that once it gets down in the body, the body's basic. So anything that has an affinity for acid now can't live in the basic environment. Um, again, I talked about high pH, right? Over seven, low pH. So oily and thick skin is a, is a consequence of high skin pH, right? So it's more basic. Think of if acid peels the skin, natural acid or acid mantle will go ahead and do a normal exfoliation of the body. If that pH is high, it's more basic, right? We're gonna thicken up the skin. There's gonna be a lot of congestion, a lot of dullness to the skin, a lot of oil, as compared to if we have low pH. Low pH means high acidity. We're gonna have uh, over exfoliation, over dry skin. So these are things to look at. And believe it or not, the peels and the prep uh, are actually gonna help normalize the uh, pH for uh, the skin, for the clients you're working on. So let's kind of just jump in because this is what we're all here for. We're doing consecutive safe superficial peels for deep skin rejuvenation. And there's a combination at home with the in office. The at home obviously is the activator, the all day shield. And then after we do peels, we're gonna put on repair creams, either a caviar repair cream or a growth factor repair cream. So this is very exciting. And again, those are more retail products for you as well. The whole system is based on polyhydroxy acids. You're going to see two fancy names here, um, glucolactone, lactic acid that's been manipulated, and lactobionic, which is lactic acid manipulated. So you just got to get your clients used to the fact that they're not going to feel any of the burning here. 
okay? First act appeals combining acids, hyaluronics, and peptides. So this ageless peptide peel, I'm now going to start to do on clients that are showing signs of aging. Of course, I'm going to get the beautiful exfoliation, the vibrant skin, the radiant skin, but I'm also now going to be able to go ahead and infuse hyaluronic and peptides in the skin as well as the typical exfoliation. Nice, right? So the pH that um, the whole line will cover here is as low as 2 and up to 3.5. So you have a nice wide range in there. And then, for instance, like Ageless, you'll have an Ageless and an Ageless Plus. You'll have a White Up and a White Up Plus. So there's some variations in there, again, to keep your clients safe, to keep you safe. So the program is all about uh, the renewal of skin, setting up objectives for your clients, doing the activation two weeks prior, preparing the skin, putting melanocytes to sleep. Also, the line is gonna do photo protection. It's not gonna make you photo sensitive. We're also gonna to start to do our first peel, let it repair seven days later, and then we're gonna to continue to go. During those peels, we're also gonna use the activator to control pigmentation. So we'll do a peel, three days off with the activator, three days on, and we're gonna keep on peeling. We're just gonna follow the protocol book. Um, here's again the age list. So I'm just gonna run through just a few of these, and then I'm gonna show you the protocol book and show you that, and then I'll take questions. So the ageless peptide peel, 20% concentration, pH of 2.25. Ageless plus, 40%, pH of two, so it's stronger. Notice with the ageless peptide, it's phototypes one through six. The plus, stronger, is gonna be one through four. So just know if somebody comes in darker complexion, we're gonna stick with the ageless peptide peel. This way we can control any sort of post-inflammatory hypo or hyper, and we're just gonna do it maybe for a week or two longer, or the pass will stay on for another minute compared to the other. We're gonna get the same results at the end, but again, and this is what I teach, this keeps you, the practitioner, safe, and it also keeps the patient safe. The next one, again, ageless peptide peel. This is for those uh, patients that are showing wrinkles and aging and they get a peel. This is gonna help with that, which is great. If we look at the coats between the peptide and the peptide plus, we see that the first one, one to five layers, three minutes. Okay, when we say layers, we want you to just brush it on one pass, right? One constant pass, not brushing back and forth like we're painting a fence, that's going to be five or six passes. We're going to brush onto the face in one clean drag, if you will. We're going to leave the product on for three minutes. After three minutes, we're going to put another coat, another layer on. So the coats, it says one to five layers. Well, what does that mean? That means you can do up to five layers. It doesn't mean you have to do five layers. So when we train and teach here, I'll have you put one pass on. Set your iPhone or your timer to three minutes as it's running. I always ask the client, Mary, how are you feeling? Give me zero to five. And they'll say, oh, doc, it's a one, it's a two. Great. If somebody tells me it's a five, I'm going to grab the neutralizer and just stop it right there. Nobody's ever done that yet, but just know if somebody says it hurts or whatever, you can just neutralize instantly. Remember, they're superficial as well, too. Now, Everything's fine. I don't see any uh, inflammation or redness or irritation on the face. Pass number two, pass number three. Let's just say, and this is rule of thumb, whether it's for our line or any line, somebody starts to show a little bit of irritation, let's say on the cheek. Now it's time to do the next pass. Okay, it's just one area. I'm gonna do another pass, but I'm just gonna avoid that red irritation and I'm gonna keep going. Mary, how do you feel? Zero to five. Sometimes the redness will actually go away or it might just stay there while I'm doing the peels. I just avoid it. Now, if I'm doing another pass and they start to show another irritated spot, that's it for me. I'm just neutralizing right there. Because remember guys, I'm gonna do this over a few weeks. So rule of thumb, how do you feel zero to five? And visually, are they irritated by the formula whatsoever? If not, I follow through and I'll go on with all the passes. Sometimes I might have to stop at four. It just depends. If you look now at the ageless 
plus, right, it's only up to three layers now. So again, the protocols are gonna be in the book. You just follow it, it's very simple. Now look what's in these things, lactobionic, lactic, glucolactone, mandelic, hyaluronic, peptides. This is a, a blend of different attributes to each one. So these peels, you're gonna see blends of acids and different uh, DNA protectors and the new things on the block for pigmentation inhibitors. So it's really gonna be a nice blend or a nice cocktail, if you will, just like the Fusion products, that we're gonna get some amazing results. So let's jump down to white up because pigmentation is a big issue of why people do peels. Phytic acid, mandelic, glucolactone, lactobionic, transexamic, whitening peptides. You're gonna see this word transexamic more and more now. This is kind of the new kid on the block that works very, very well for pigmentation, inhibiting pigmentation, helping with sun damage. We also have whitening peptides here. There's all sorts of peptides in the world, but whitening peptides gonna help with whitening the skin as well too. Mandelic, antibacterial, antimicrobial, glucolactone, the gentle or the non-burning version of glycolic. I got lactobionic, which is hydrating. It's also my, lacto, my uh, lactic acid version. Let me explain this too. The polyhydroxy versions of both of these are both super hydrating, even more than normal lactic, and they're both super um, antioxidant. Uh, not to get too heavy into chemistry, but they have more OH groups on them. They're called hydroxies. OH and an H, which is a free radical, if you hook them together, turn into water. Very hydrating, very antioxidant. So it's a real, real nice uh, composition as well, too. Look at the coats on the white up. One to five layers, one to two minutes. Okay, very easy, pH of 2.25. Now we're gonna flip down to the white up plus. Stronger, can only do it on the first four Fitzpatricks. 34%, pH of two, one to three coats, this and that. So guys, what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna try to just jump in here and do my, um, I just wanna show you what the protocol book looks like for you guys. So when we go down, it's just very easy, you're just gonna follow this and we're gonna keep referring back to this, right? So here's my age list, right, 22.25. How do I do it? Protocol, contact time, three minutes in between passes, maximum passes, up to five, recommended procedures, five, done once a week. Once a week or five weeks, when they're in there, three minutes in between passes and up to five passes. You can neutralize directly. I can go ahead and wipe it off with water. I can spray on my carboxy neutralizer or an added bonus of things that we do now. We take the little tea face mask from Fusion Miso, soak those in saline, drain out the extra saline so that I can open up the mask, squirt carboxy neutralizer on the face, cover the face with the mask, squirt the mask with neutralizer. And then I'll lift the mask on the cheek, squirt more neutralizer in there. What I'm doing is I'm trapping all that carbon dioxide in the mask, into the skin, and then we know what the body's gonna do. It's gonna come up and drop all the oxygen in the face so that it can grab all that carbon dioxide. It super oxygenates the face, the, the face shines and glows. It's a really, really cool effect. Now, how do I do the products? And we're gonna come back and forth just to show you, right? So we're gonna go ahead and what we're gonna to do to activate, really, let's, let's look at this. So before somebody comes in to get this peel, um, I'm gonna actually sell them the PHA activator. I'm gonna sell them the All Day Shield as well too. The all-in-one cleansing peel is when they're in my office, the monsoon mist is in my office, degreasing solutions in my office. So this will all make sense to you guys in a little while. After I do the peel, I'm gonna put on my ice cream repair or my caviar repair because I wanna get rejuvenation going, because I'm gonna hit it again next week and repair, and then next week and repair. And I'm gonna use the All Day Shield as well too. The All Day Shield is very exciting. We're gonna to get to that in a few minutes, but I just kinda of just wanna show you the protocol book. Let's just jump down here to the white up peel. Contact time, two minutes in between the peel. Maximum five layers. Neutralize with water, carboxy spray, or the mask and the carboxy spray right? Downtime once a week. They're all going to be once a week. And then we have them up to five weeks. So questions, right? 
well, why would somebody um, come back? How do I charge? I'll recommend that you charge $100 for this. Then there's retail products. So what we're starting to see that work very well in offices is that they'll just charge $130 appeal or $150 appeal and include all the product in there as well too. So this way um, they can absolutely um, have all the product and you guys can make sure that they're gonna repair properly. Somebody asked if it can be done with dermaplaning. I do the white up peel all the time with dermaplaning. So remember, dermaplaning is a nice way to do exfoliation. When you do a peel afterward, it's gonna be that much more effective because now it doesn't have to go through all of that epidermal tissue. So yes, you can do dermaplaning followed by a peel. All right, so we kind of got the gist here. I'll just swing down a little bit more, white up. I have the pure skin. I love this for acne, right? Also for rosacea, folliculitis, seborrhea. It's great. Again, guys, it's gentle enough. I'm going to get the results I want just slowly. So it's great for sensitive skin. That's really what's great about polyhydroxies. Remember, it's just going to take me a little longer. I'm going to get deeper and deeper each week. I'll match anybody's peel out there. Of course, not the deep peels done medically, but I can get a deep, deep exfoliation. I'm just gonna do it what I think is the right way, removing what's ready to be removed, not removing whatever I wanna splash on the face and causing injury and scabbing and flaking. That shows injury, that's not what I'm here to do. I'm here to remove what's ready to be removed. Okay, so we'll kinda jump back in here. So we kinda got a little bit of an idea here that um, you can always go to the website as well too and look and anybody that requests the protocol book, of course, I'll send it to you. Next year, we're going to have all our webinars uh, on our website. You guys will be able to watch these at any time. This is being recorded. We're going to play this uh, a few more times, obviously, because of the uh, technical difficulties. So I want everybody to watch it. Um, ferulic peel, super antioxidant, hot thing out right now. Again, you'll just follow the protocol, right? One to three layers. Uh, it has a set amount of minutes. You're going to do it once a week. Again, the protocol book will tell you how to do it. Retinol peel, I just want to point this out. We have one peel that's super strong for those clients that demand the heavy, I call it the El Cabang or the big punch. You're going to do this one. This one's strong, pH of two, concentration of six. This is to be done once a month for two months. So this is a big heavy duty. You are going to see some of the flaking and scabbing. They included this in the line for the clients that want to have this. So there it is. Okay. Water infusion. Super nice here. Again, peels usually dry out, but look what's in here. Lactic acid, hydrating, glucolactone, polyhydroxy acid, hydrating, right? La uh, hyaluronic acid, hydrating. So it's a very, very hydrating peel. So it works very, very well. Again, exfoliates, makes the skin radiant, but I also now can treat the uh, the dryness as well too. And I have a cool product for post care for that. The next one, the pure skin, love this one, right? This is my go-to for acne. I've got salicylic acid, bacterial. I've got glucolactone, again, um, which is uh, bacterial side in nature. Also small, can get down deep, unclog. I've got mandelic acid, antibacterial, antimicrobial. We use this all the time. It recommends three treatments to be done once a week. It works fantastic, okay? Now I have a thing called the soft touch. This is a great tool to have in the toolbox here. If you look at the pH, it's 3.5. So it's very gentle. I believe with this one, if I check the book, it's either seven weeks or 10 weeks to get a desired result of a heavier peel. <clears throat> Excuse me. But I like this because this is a nice peel if I'm not sure if somebody has sensitive skin. Maybe we did a dermaplaning, not sure how they're gonna react. I can use this. This is a nice starter peel. It's also a nice prep peel. Somebody comes in and says, I don't want the PHA activator. I don't have time, this and that. I would start them on this and then I'd immediately start them on the PHA activator. So um, I really like this peel because sometimes when I check for sensitivity, and a way to do that, you can actually take a tongue depressor, turn it on its side, and stroke a fine line across the forehead. Wait 10 seconds, see if it turns red. You'll know if somebody has sensitive skin or not. Most times people don't know, they're not sure. 
Of course, I always want to do a great history. I want to know exactly what kind of peels they've had in the past. And uh, I want to learn as much as I can to pick the right peel. But with polyhydroxies also, I'm not going for the big peel here. I'm just going for progressive peels, gentle, removing layers at a time. So I'm always going to be safe. So for those out there that are scared, this is a nice way to get into peels. And I'm telling you, this is going to change the market. This is the new stuff out there, polyhydroxies. I have a lacto peel too. For those that love lactic acid, lacto peel is great. Um, lactic by nature is gentle, hydrating, so I've got that in there. I've got a uh, gluco peel, which is glucolactone, doesn't burn, has hyaluronic acid in there as well too to help heal and soothe, and you can read about the different reasons to do that. I also have a uh, caviar peel for home use, and I'm going to get into a little bit about home use, so that works nice as well too. Caviar is the hot thing on the market. Caviar is fish eggs. Caviar is protein. Protein feeds collagen, feeds fibroblasts, right? Helps out with renewal. So this is what goes on now with the products. Just to introduce you to these, and again, you can always refer to the website and, and kind of just uh, take more time to learn. We have uh, two different types of cleansers. We have an all-in-one cleanse and peel. It has a little bit of glucolactone in there. Um, and it's more of a creamy version. So very easy to use. Client comes in, we'll give them that to go home, I'm sorry, to go into the bathroom, cleanse their face. If you're an esthetician, you can go ahead and cleanse the face for them. This is great for home use. They can use this daily if they like, it's gentle. Now jumping down to a thing called enzyme powder cleanse and peel four down. Um, this is nice. This is for super sensitive skin. It is in a powder form. So when something goes from a liquid or a cream to a powder, obviously there's less stuff in there, right? There's nothing that's activated or any of that kind of stuff is in there. So this is a very clean form. You put about a dime size in your hand, put a little water in your hand, swirl your hands around, it'll foam up. So uh, this is great, great for sensitive skin. We also have a lot of clients that fly on airplanes. Of course, liquids can't be taken on airplanes powder can, so this won't get flagged, it's great for traveling. We have a micellar water cleanse and peel. <clears throat> You'll see in there you have a choice of which cleansers to use for each one. Micellar water is kind of a hot thing out, it's been out for, for a little while now, but uh, micellar water uh, is great for removing oil, dirt, and makeup all at the same time, but it's super gentle on the skin, it doesn't even need to be removed with water, okay? So it's nice, it comes with about a 4.5 pH as well too, has a little bit of glucolactone. So it's gonna help with skin renewal and restoring normal pH gradient. My monsoon mist and tone, certain peels will ask for this, a little spray after you cleanse, after you degrease, you can either do a peel, some of them will ask you to do the extra step and spray a little monsoon mist on there. And uh, it's a little bit more alkaline or basic, it's 7.5. It moisturizes, and what it does, it'll cause coronocytes to swell up. So this is actually going to improve my uh, removing those coronocytes after this will increase the penetration of my peel as well, too. I've got my carboxy neutralizer. Again, I'm going to spray this on. Wherever there's acid, it's going to foam up a little. It'll foam until it's neutralized. So you can always see if you missed any, maybe it rolled down on the neck, things like that. So um, the neutralizer is great. Of course, we can either use water or neutralizer or use the mask with the neutralizer. Now, they've also come out with actually a hyaluronic carboxy neutralizer. Um, funny story, we just uh, uh, did a peel on the president at uh, M-Site, one of the big medical uh, facilities and, uh, that do a lot of stem cells and PR, PRP. We didn't have a table, so we had the patient uh, sitting. So when we're sitting and you're putting peels on, they want to run and neutralize it, wants to run. They, uh, funny enough, the corporate office came out with a hyaluronic carboxy neutralizer. It's more of a gel. So it's not going to run down the side of the face. You could actually be seated if you want, but same effect, still going to get that carboxy effect, still going to neutralize intense oxygenation, but it's thickened up with hyaluronic, which is hydrating and soothing. And now it's more in a gel form for you cool thing called a caviar liquid mask. Caviar liquid mask is actually a spray-on. You'll spray on, massage it in, and leave it. 
Um, it's a nice complement to treatments. It's kind of a nutritious cocktail that you're going to spray on. Um, you can either sell the patient the bottle, or you can go ahead and spray it on as add-ons to any things that you do in the office. You just spray it on, charge them ten, fifteen dollars. I'm not sure. I think the bottle is anywhere between uh, fifteen dollars or it's twenty dollars. I'm not quite sure, but um, charge people 10 bucks, $15 for a spray on caviar mask, or you can sell them the bottle. It's up to you. So something to look at pH activator home use. This is what's going to go ahead and control melanocytes, prep the skin. It's got resorcinol. Okay. Put melanocytes to sleep. Ferulic activator goes with my ferulic peel. I have the all day shield. Let me tell you about this. Now, everybody says, Oh yeah, you know, I got sunscreen. I got that. Most sunscreens have salicylic acid in there. Now, do I want to put salicylic acid on after I just did a peel? No. And the reason you know there's salicylic acid in there, if you've ever put it on and maybe sweated or you went to the beach or in the pool and it gets in your eyes, it burns. That's salicylic acid, okay? This doesn't have salicylic or um, alcohol in it, so it's not going to dry the skin. What it does have is a natural sunscreen. It actually comes from sea algae. And they're called microsporin-like amino acids. So the sea algae bakes all day. So over time, it's adapted. It produces these amino acids called microsporin. We have that. So this is a great natural sunscreen, SPF 50, uh, 50 to 55. It has a thing called HelioGuard 365. Obviously, it's going to control and protect DNA. Has a little bit of ferulic in there, which is super antioxidant, which is going to counter affect the effects of the sun. And the best part, it's very sheer and light. You can put your makeup on five, 10 minutes later. So it's a great thing to use. We sell this to anybody and everybody that comes through here. Um, it doesn't matter if they're getting peels or not. Love this product. Again, you're going to retail it to your clients. The bottles appear high end. The price point is low for you. It's beautiful. Um, now I'm going to talk about the repair creams. After I do my peel, I neutralize. Now what? I can put on a choice of an ice cream repair, which has the texture of ice cream. You can keep it in the refrigerator if you like, or keep it in the room. And you're going to apply this to the face as a back bar. It has um, five growth factors in there, which obviously are going to help with renewal and growth factor production because it affects uh, fibroblastic activity has some vitamin E, amino acids in there as well too. And um, it's just a beautiful product. We sell this um, post procedure because we want them to go home with this and use this uh, nightly. And they can use this long after they're done with peels. It's basically a repair cream with growth factors in it. It's just a beautiful, beautiful product. My second choice is I can use a caviar repair. Caviar repair, fish eggs, eggs, protein. It's a nutritional cocktail with protein in it. Same thing now. I can put that on as well too. Control inflammation, get a healthier cell renewal, get my skin ready for next week as well too. So that's a beautiful product as well. The smell, the fragrance is amazing. We have a retinol booster for home use as well too. Can be used alone, um, can be used uh, uh, post-procedure if you will, or can be used a few times during the week just as exfoliatory while you're home. So we have a lot of home products as well. I have Hydration Sparkle, which is water trapped in oil. Contains a little bit of lactic acid. Super, super hydrating. You put this on four hours later, your face is still moist. I have a White Up Sorbet, which is an eight week program, home use for hyperpigmentation issues. Beautiful product. I have an Ageless Cocoon, which is kind of a, a nutritional cocktail, if you will. Prevents aging, you can put this on nicely. It's a nice nutritional um, uh, cream for your face to be used year round. I have an ultimate eye cream, which we use tons of. This has a little bit of lactobionic acid. For those dark circles and wrinkles under the eyes, when I do a peel, I can't get up there. After we go ahead and peel and put on repair cream, we'll go ahead and just dot a little bit underneath the eyes and, and, and wipe across. It'll help with those dark spots. It's gonna help exfoliate, and um, it's just super hydrating, so it's very nice. Last, I have a skin polish. Let's say I've got somebody with hyperpigmentation. I can take the polish, it's a little bit abrasive, remove some of that uh, epidermal tissue. Maybe instead of doing a dermaplaning, I can remove it with the skin polish, and then I can do my peel, 
and I'm going to get a little bit more penetration in that because I've done some physical exfoliation. So um, we also have a little thing. It's a little bit off the cuff here, but it's through the line of exception. Um, these are our handheld devices. Again, back to the Miso. Um, if you're not using a pen, we sell these devices where we can put the product into the cylinder, screw the top on, and it has um, a depth of 0.5 millimeter needle depths. They're adjustable. They're gold-plated, of course, that they're um, safe to use. They're not going to cause any sensitivity to the skin. And now I can drive product in here. We have a great one that a lot of people order for is BTX, the Botox-like. It's that um, they are uh, peptides in the body that are more of muscle relaxers. So you can stamp into the wrinkles, stamp lateral to the eyes, and it's kind of a natural uh, muscle relaxer for you. Of course, you can go ahead and put nutritional cocktail or growth factors or any one of these that you want to use and hand stamp. So these are nice. These are only $35 that you see. Some of the alternatives on the market are a little bit over $100 a piece. So these are wonderful devices that you can use. Let me see what's left here. So we got the activator. that, And really, guys, what I want to show you too here is I always show um, this video. I love this video here, okay? We're gonna see right now, what does the skin look like? How does it rejuvenate? We're just gonna watch a oh, few minutes of it, okay? And we're gonna see what I love is the diagram when they go below the skin, how we can start to see um, how that basal or layer, the bottom of the epidermis, does mitosis and cell division. And we'll see exactly how, when we remove the outer surface here, we're gonna cause the body to kick in and start producing new. So I want you to understand that peels, exfoliation are super anti-aging, okay? So right now what we're looking at here is these yellow brighter ones at the bottom, that's our basal layer. This is where cell division or mitosis happens when we need to go ahead and add more thickness to that stratum cornea. Those white things that you start to see, those are melanocytes. So they all sit down in that same area. So that basal range is a very, very important thing. And we can see how these coronocytes start to push up. As they get higher, they die off, and they'll start to thin off and flake out. Um, so it's very, very important to start to see here. Let me play just a little bit more. And again, this I show all the time just to show you what rejuvenation looks like from below. So when I sell the um, peels to everybody or I sell dermaplaning to everybody, I'm very, very um, focused on it's super anti-aging, right? I just want to show them that look what you can do to get your patients excited here, right? You're going to tell them that it's super rejuvenative, super anti-aging, the skin's going to lighten up and we're going to remove a lot of um, the dead skin on top, get more radiant skin and replace it with the old. So just very exciting. I'm on the exception uh, peels, uh, the website here. Any one of these you want to look at, for instance, the PHA activator, it's going to tell you everything about it, indications, ingredients, how to use. Of course, I'm going to send you guys the protocol book as well too, but I just wanted to show you guys that the website really is an excellent um, uh, learning or studying, if you will, a little bit more about the products, how to use it, and there's more information for you guys here anytime you want to look at it. Let me just show you the product book and then I'll take questions and then, uh, and then we'll kind of move it on. All right, so I got the retinol peel. I just wanted to point out here, this is the strong one done every 30 days for two months, once a month for two months, right? And it'll show you repair products, either ice cream repair or caviar repair, all day shield. Patient comes in, they want to start with peels. I'll recommend or we'll use the all-in-one cleanse and peel in the office. I'll go ahead and I'll always do a degreaser. Degreaser is going to remove that fat and oil from the face so I penetrate deeper. Then this one recommends the monsoon mist. Then I'm going to do my peel. I'm going to do my ice cream repair, my all-day shield. So it actually tells you which products that you can go ahead and retail. Typically, it's the repair creams, the all-day shield, and also the activators. That's what you're going to go ahead and retail. You can either do it as an add-on charge to the peel of 100 or go ahead and charge 125 appeal or 150 appeal and include all the products in there.
okay? Ferulic peel, again, photoaging, super antioxidant here. Great peel for that. Simple, just gonna follow this, right? All-in-one cleanse and peel, degreasing, monsoon mist, do your peel, neutralize. I'm gonna start them on an activator. I'm gonna sell them the activator, the all-day shield, and one of the repair creams. Super, super easy to use. Come on in the office. Uh, number of uh, minutes between layers, two minutes. Maximum layers up to three. Neutralize once a week for seven weeks. Seven weeks is a lot, but look at the pH here. Okay, great for sensitive skin. Again, I've got pH as high as 3.5 down to two. The higher the pH, the longer it's going to take to get that result. That's all. Here's my glycolic, simple, simple, three minutes, three passes, done once a week for three weeks. So three, three, three. So just going to keep scrolling down and you'll see what to do. But again, how do I repair? Ice cream repair or caviar repair is always going to be the same. Always going to have the all day shield I'm going to put on after my peel. Of course, retail it. Retail too. Guess what? I'm going to retail all these products if I can. All day shield activator. I can sell them the all, all in one cleanse and peel, the monsoon tone and mist. But just know when somebody comes in, I'm going to cleanse, I'm going to degrease. If it asks for monsoon mist, I'm going to spray on the mist. If it doesn't, I'm not. I'm going to do my peel. I'm going to do my repair cream. I'm going to put on my all day shield. They're out the door. I'll see you next week for two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, five weeks, whatever, whatever the protocol is. Okay. Soft touch. Look at the pH super high. It's going to be a lot of weeks, 10 weeks, but guess what? I can do this peel on patients that would never be able to get a peel on because I'm just going to do it slowly and gently. And that's all. So you have that ability in there for those sensitive patients, those higher Fitzpatrick scales. Water infusion, love it. Glyco uh, glucolactone, hydrating version of glycolic, hyaluronic, hydrating, lactic, hydrating. What a great peel, right? Hydrate the skin. At the back of the book, it's going to tell you about each peel. You'll always notice very superficial to superficial. When it's got a plus, it's superficial, right? White up, very superficial, white up plus, superficial, right? So we'll start to see that as we go down, keep scrolling. Here's your chart. You just need to print this piece of paper out, put it under a piece of plastic, keep it in your room. Anytime, right? You want to do a white up plus? Great. I'm going to put on up to four layers, time in between, two minutes per layer, once a week for five weeks. It's just that easy. And guys, it's very gentle. So it's, it's, it's on your side. It's not here to hurt anybody. It's going to work great. All right. So um, we're always here for support. I just want to tell you this before I answer any questions. Any orders placed today till midnight, get 10% off with free shipping as well on orders of 100 or more. So nice, you get 10% off and you get free shipping for $100 or more, which isn't a lot. And we just want to thank you guys. Wish you a happy holidays and everything. Of course, uh, sorry about the technical difficulties. We're going to replay this a uh, few more times in the next week or two. So now I'll take some questions here. Let me see what's up here. Um, can I combine it with dermaplaning? Yes, absolutely. I do a lot, either the soft touch or I'll do a white up peel. Can you combine microneedling tr treatment and peel on the same day? Well, I have a few different thoughts on that. Do I want to put an acid in a wound I just made? Probably not. Do I want to take my trained procedures that I charge, say, 300 for microneedling and I charge 150 for a peel? Do I want to do it on the same day and have to charge them cheaper? So no. So for two reasons. Business, no. Separate them. They're separate treatments, right? For procedures, do I want to pour acid in an open wound? No. So I'm going to tell you no, okay? I know there's people out there that are doing it. I'm going to tell you not to do it, okay? So um, Robin just asked, so uh, there's also, you know, minimum order for the sale today to get the 10% off and free shipping is just $100, just for today till midnight, just on the exception peels, not on anything else, not on fusion or anything else. And I know the online orders are 200, okay? Any other question, guys, that I can answer for you? Good, good. What is a question? Let's see here. Uh, what do I got? Can you combine? Okay, <laughs> Robin, good, sweet, good. Uh, uh, is there a way to get samples? What type of visible signs do people have from peels? So all peels, 
right? You might see a little bit of um, irritation. You might see a little bit of redness in there. Because they're polyhydroxies, you're gonna see the lower version of both if you even see any. But some people have super sensitive skin. I have a doctor that I work on, no matter what I put on the face, she always gets that red glow. It goes away in a half hour. Some people just have sensitive skin, but just understand that the damage done is minimal. Some people just have sensitive skin, they'll turn red, and it's not from the damage, just from sensitivity. And that's really uh, all you have to worry about. As far as uh, samples, with orders, there's samples on some of the skincare components. There's obviously no samples on the acids themselves. So with your order, they'll always put in samples of uh, some of the skincare products uh, that you'll see. So um, that's it. So hopefully you're, you're not asking for a sample of the acid, right? So the acid, of course, guys, we're going to have to see them multiple times. We're not just going to do it once and let them be happy with that. We're going to explain to them these are the new peels out, the progressive peels to be done weekly. Okay. Any other questions? All right. So I'll wait a few more minutes and stuff. But uh, again, questions on acids. Uh, I don't want you to be scared. And again, before I got into it, I was like, oh my God, acid peels, this and that. These are very, very easy to work with, okay? Very controlled. You just follow the protocol, your patient's gonna be fine, right? Think about it, you're putting passes on, three passes, five passes, right? So you've got tons of time to say, you know what, I'm gonna stop right now. Stronger peels, when you put on one brush and it's all or nothing, there's really no time to react, right? You've already done the damage. Here, you're gonna start to just put on multiple passes in one day, and you're going to do this for multiple weeks, okay? So it's a very, very safe, gentle line with the products for you for retail so you guys can make some money. And the best part, peels, takes 15 minutes to do a peel. Make 100 bucks in 15 minutes. Super easy to do, right? Remember, patients come in. Do I need to exfoliate their skin, break it down, or do I need to build it up and thicken it up. So these are the two things you should be asking your client, I'm sorry, not asking your clients, looking at your clients, disregarding what they say because that dictates. Remember, clients are gonna come in wanting whatever their best friend got, but their skin is totally different. So you'll do skin analysis, you'll understand that. So guys, if there's no more questions, I'm gonna go ahead and wish you guys happy holiday. We're gonna go ahead and replay this uh, probably two more times uh, in the next week for you guys. So. If you have any questions, please go ahead and email me. Um, if you want the protocol book, go ahead and email me. I'll send that over to you. And uh, you can send orders over to, uh, um, we have, it's called orders at AW Skin Care Training. I forgot to write that on there. Um, if you have a problem, you can always send the order to me and then I'll forward it on. Okay, guys, happy holidays. I wish you guys the best. And we will talk soon.